I'm out. Oh, you guys are all sleeping. You're all inside your pen, sleeping away. Good morning. Hello, baby Alice. And where's my little princess Fiona? Where is she? Oh, you guys are all crowded together. You ladies like that? Oh, here comes Venora's pop. Up. Oh. Hi. Light green is Reba's. That's Olive Girl. And who's coming out now? Oh, that's Orange. That's Orange Boy from BMB. The red one up, oh, the pink and black, that is Venora's female. And the two that just came out are both Reba's. Oh, and there's Bambi's other little girl. The red one in front is Reba's. The pink one coming out is Reba's. And the purple one's Reba's. The other ones are sleeping. Princess Fiona does not want to come out. We are keeping one little girl. We don't always keep puppies. We want, Mike wants one puppy to keep. My name is Carol Sutton. I don't normally do the videos. Mike does them. But I, I'm doing this one because Mike is busy. I've been the one breeding the dogs for almost 30 years. I'm the one that does the paperwork and all the birthing of the puppies. A lot of times they're bored during the night and I'm the one that stays up all night with mom while Mike is in bed sleeping. He likes the YouTube video so people can see their puppies all over the place. We have puppies mostly in the New England states, locally, some in Florida. We don't do shipping. Um, whenever the puppies do go somewhere, that needs flown we fly with a puppy the people pay for us to fly them there and then we fly home if we meet people halfway they pay a delivery fee to meet halfway we'll do a lot of meeting out towards albany new york for people in the new england states connecticut vermont massachusetts either maine you guys aren't gonna come out come on get out here nobody's gonna come out you guys are all sleeping. How about my Princess Fiona? I can't get her. People will ask, why am I keeping Princess Fiona? I know one person. Oh, there's my little Princess Fiona. People may ask why I keep a certain puppy. And what I will do is because we'll be using Bentley to breed with Princess Fiona. This is Princess Fiona. We'll be keeping using her with Bentley. The reason why we're keeping her is because she has very black pigmentation. Her tummy's already gray. The, the, her ear points are starting to turn gray. Her nose is black. All her points on her pads are black. Bentley has a little bit of problem with pigmentation. He sometimes will turn like a pinker color. Um, especially if in the winter time, he thinks in the snow, his nose will turn pink, um, light, like a lighter brown, where she is very black. Everything about her is very black. So that's why we would keep her um, over, say, another puppy. Uh, let's see here, like, uh, you're kind of black, but sometimes we can't breed with other females because they're too closely related, or they may be one of Bentley's puppies, or Bradley's puppies. Those ones we cannot keep due to the fact that they are related. Um, Princess Fiona is shirt tail relation to Bentley. Her great-grandfather is Bentley's grandfather. That's called line breeding, but it's far enough in, um, away from each other without causing problems down the road. Inline breeding is when you breed a puppy to the mother, the father, um, father, son, or father, daughter, mother, son, brother, sister. That's when you have inline breeding. I never do inline breeding. That's when you have more chances of more complications with the puppy. Um, these guys are far enough away that we can use them. 
where some of these puppies are actually Bentley's puppies, so I couldn't use them. Um, but some of the puppies you see will have still have pink on them. They're not as dark skin, dark. You know, that's why I actually picked Princess Fiona. Her sister we could have used also. However, if you look at her, she's black, but she still has a little bit of pink on her. One of her pads, one or two of her pads are still pink. She doesn't have as dark a pigmentation. Um, she, as she gets older, she will, like one, one of her pads here is still pink. She will turn as she gets older, which is fine. Um, but because the other one turned so quick is why her pigmentation is much better to use with Bentley. I've been breeding dogs almost 30 years. Um, Westies have been about the last 16 years of my breeding have been Westies. And currently that's all we breed. We occasionally will have a Westie poodle litter. We have one poodle female. I don't think we're going to have any more Westie poodles for another, you know, we just missed her heat. So I don't think we'll have Westie poodles for another eight months. And then we'll breed it two times back to back again. But, but that's kind of, you know, what the story is. This is Princess Fiona's brother. You'll see he's very dark too. He's got very dark pigmentation. Um, I do a lot of holding them like this. This teaches them from a young age submission. They have to be submissive to us. And if they're really, really not listening, you can't grab them and scruff their neck and tell them no. However, if they're being good, you don't want to do that because it's it messes up their brain and why are they being controlled when they're not supposed to be. I really do. He is already spoken for. All these puppies actually here are spoken for. Um, I have two females available, or one female available and two males available that will go home the end of June, beginning of July. So that's it for now. Thank you.